I'm Kurt. I'm Muhammad. And Kyung. And this is our Rube Goldberg project. Um, the theme of our project is Peanut Circus. And as you, as you can see with, uh, with Snoopy and Charlie Brown in there. And our primary, or our starting task rather, was to raise a big top tent, which is right here. Uh, and to do that, we're going to use this little kind of motorized gadget here with a switch on the top of the box. So one of us will flip the switch and then the gears using a pulley system will, I'm going to follow the line down here, pull up the tent like so. And while it's doing that, there is a kind of a pool cue uh, style stick there attached to the string. And that will kind of go down the track and push this marble attached to a string off of the track. Uh, also, when there is enough resistance on the string from the tent, uh, the switch here will turn itself off. Once the marble with the string falls off the track, it is actually attached to another switch and another motorized device that will start um, winding up the string. And that string is pulling our tightrope walker, Lucy, here. And uh, Lucy will pull across the tightrope um, and there's another string attached to the back of Lucy which is attached to the trapeze artist up here who happens to be Snoopy with his aviation goggles on there. And our trapeze artist is going to swing. We've got a little apparatus up here. Uh, he will swing across and we've got Lucy again here uh, telling him not to drink and swing and uh, he will actually knock Lucy off of the track and allow the metal ball bearing right behind her there to go through all of the marble works tracking here and once that marble or ball bearing rather uh, falls into the half of a Pepsi uh, or Dr. Pepper can here then that will, using a pulley, will pull Linus on the unicycle across his path here. We've got a little floor built in. And that can will fall through the floors uh, into this hole. And on the way by, it's going to hit the chopsticks, which are blocking uh, another metal ball bearing in the track there. And that metal ball bearing will be released into the tr into the tracking, and will fall into a tin can at the end of the track, which is attached with a string to uh, the elephant, his his ear, and his head is on a swivel. It'll it'll turn side to side, or it's on a it's on a kind of an axle and it'll pull his trunk up and he will raise Charlie Brown into the air and when he does that uh, that will knock over our Jenga dominoes and the path goes through the box and around once the dominoes are f fallen they will hit this uh, spiky domino here at the end that is covered in pins and that's attached to a string and that will fall and pop the balloon which is holding back our five pin bowling ball. Uh, the five pin bowling ball uh, will then fall down the ramp, got kind of a v-shaped ramp and it will fall along our, our tracking that we built out of cardboard for the ball. Then when it gets to the end of the tracking we have another switch which we just kind of extended with chopsticks and that switch will be set off with another motorized device which uh, using another kind of a pulley system there is going to pull a string and 
set off or trigger our next task, which is the tiger jumping through the hoop of fire. And our tiger there is Snoopy. <laughs> they must be drunk to think I'm a tiger. And so our switch here is kind of a kind of a toggle switch, which we built out of rubber bands and, and chopsticks. And so the string of the motorized device will pull the bottom of the trigger, sending Snoopy through our hoop of fire there, through the hole at the end of the box. And that piece at the end of the box is holding back our next task. It's the trigger also for the five clowns out of jumping out of a car. Uh, this is our car and we've got our five characters, Peanuts characters, sitting in the car there and they're attached to a single string which is attached to the top of the box. So once the car is released uh, it'll roll down this ramp and each of the characters will pop out one by one um, as the car is going down the ramp. Then at the end of the ramp there is another switch uh, which the car will run into or hit and that switch is on another kind of a swivel joint there and it's attached to a string which is attached to the top of a 2x4. Uh, that 2x4 will fall once it's tugged with the string and there's a little slack in the string here. Once it falls it's going to pull the string and the string is attached to a stopper which is made out of styrofoam and the stopper uh, which is blocking the water from this Powerade bottle here um, will release and all the water will go into the beer can and the beer can has a spout made out of straw and the water will eventually fill and and flow through that straw into this other beer can held by strings just, just kind of hanging there and once that beer can fills with water I'm gonna follow here there's a string that goes all the way across to the front and around this uh, this kind of pulley here and goes back and attaches to the uh, axle that's holding our coffee whitener can um, this is for the magic illusion now once the beer can across there falls it will pull this axle which will flip the can around and drop coffee whitener uh, or magic dust onto the fire or the flame that's going here and it will combust instantly and at the same time this hook attached to the string will pull our magician uh, out of sight into the pit and he has disappeared thus creating a giant fireball and disappearing our our magician at the same time and that is our Rube Goldberg machine. Okay, Rube Goldberg, take 15. Three, two, one, go.
Come on.